Hello everyone. Welcome back to my studio. Today I'm going to be demonstrating a small little painting of a lake that was in Glacier National Park when I visited there. The uh, campus is only 12 by 12 inches, so that's pretty small. But I have chosen a uh, color scheme of three sets of complements, orange and blue, and yellow, orange, and blue, violet, and red, orange, and blue, green. So I'm gonna try and mix and match all those colors in this little painting. What you're seeing right here is me uh, putting in the darks of the tree trunks. So I just pick out the shapes and draw in the shapes of all the darks. This is the dark branches of the weeds that are underneath the trees. They're smaller trees, but they kind of look like weeds. You can see that before I started the video, I had some of the darks in to uh, show me where the composition was going to be laying on the canvas. But of course I put in different layers on top of those, which is what I'm doing here. Here I was grabbing some of the dark green and started putting in the shapes that the trees made uh, against the sky, the leaves. And then I've picked up some of the color of the sky behind the leaves to block in some of those shapes. I go back and forth, back and forth, foreground, background, middle ground. Cutting in around the other shapes that I have already painted. Here I'm adding a little bit of the violet. In this clip you can see I've started bringing in some of the yellow, orange, and red orange in the sunset area, which is also behind the trees. So I have to cut my way through the branches and the leaves. Working with the negative shape. And now I'm trying to blend in some of the blue of the sky with the yellow of the sunset sky area.
This is a little bit of the yellow green where the light is lightening up some of those leaves that are on the edges of the trees. Now you can see I've come down to the mountain area with some blue-green. We've got some dark shaded color and some light color. Then I go back and forth between the dark and the light. Next you'll see I'm bringing in some of that yellow color from the sky to show in the water. Since the sky is always reflected down into the water, I'm bringing those yellow, orange, and red, orange colors down. Here I've picked up some more of the blue and the greens and I am continuing to lay in the colors of the water and I will be cutting in around those bushes that are there on the hillside where the water is showing through both the stems and the leaves.
Here I'm taking some of the yellow color and the red orange to put in the tree trunks where the light is hitting, leaving the contrast between the light and the dark. Now this is the shadow area on the ground, so it will be in the darker colors. And then I will fill around that with the lighter highlights where the sun is hitting. This clip I'm putting in the warm colors for the highlights of the ground and the cool colors in the shadow area for the darks. So here's the finished project sitting on my easel, 12 by 12 of Bowman Lake and Glacier National Park. I hope you've enjoyed watching me demonstrate it. I'll have to zoom in a little bit here so that you can see the texture that I've left with the brush marks and the thick paint. I like a lot of texture along with my vibrant color. So until next time, bye now.